Hi guys, um, I'm here to make a quick tour in the courtyard at the moment. I have done a few changes and I'm super excited about it. Um, here in this corner, I have some um, chrysanthemums that I uh, rescued last, um, last summer. Yeah, last summer. And then they were super cheap, like I bought each plant for like uh, two dollars and then I put two together here in the spot they were small and they were really feeling the heat but then now uh, I'm ready to open a lot of flowers I'm super excited about it my scenery today um, that I thought had died it hasn't so that's good talking about scenery all these hedge in here I planted small seedlings the old scenery of all different colors and Lila is trying to kill them <laughs> anyway uh, and I hope it will be a nice show for um, the winter and in the spring as well so now let's have a look here in my pots because that was is one of the changes I have done um, I bought these uh, green pots it's beautiful green pots and then I gave myself as a birthday gift two hydrangeas and these are uh, paniculata hydrangeas they bloom in the new wood which means I can cut back all the way in the um, early spring or late uh, winter and today only this morning I underplanted with some polyanthus which I think will look pretty good um, I have another here so they twins I uh, did some polyanthus in the base as well, and look at that. Look how beautiful these blooms are. And it was like 1st of April. Now it was 31st of um, March when I bought them. So if these blooms are hydrangea like that, you don't see it every every day. So I did, I did get them. And I had, this is not the same um geranium that i had here that geranium had a problem it's still alive but had a problem with fungus and uh, diseases and i had to remove because i have so many plants around here i really didn't want these to infect the whole thing anyway you have it here it's still my patient and the iv geraniums by the side my hydrangea without the blooms my uh cyclamen is starting to open yay finally um, this is looking beautiful, and the other I moved to the wishing well. I'll show you guys there. This is uh, that plant actually, Mike, my partner. He uh, fell in love with it, and then we bought, and I love this one. Um, I have here my colors, and they are doing super well. Here, going up a little bit, we have my fuchsia that has been flowering like crazy which makes me so happy looks really good um the bike still looking pretty nice not blooming as much now and there is something eating my journalism around here which i need to find out what the hell is happening and fix it but they're doing all right um uh, fuchsia here i put this um hanging basket not very far from now probably two weeks now and uh, the vital bray uh, veil is doing fantastic, fantastic. And this plant is having six hours of sun and it has been in this position since the summer and it's doing amazing. I'm not treating as a um, shade plant or a house plant because in my country this is never ever a house plant and it takes full sun. So I decided to try out with this plant. And I giving six hours of sun light, regardless of what's happening, if it's too hot, if it's not, and the plant is just doing amazing, seriously, it has put so much new growth, if you look here, and it's blooming like crazy, I fertilized this plant with a liquid fertilizer probably once, so it's doing really well. Um, come back in here, I moved at this spot here, you guys remember with the dahlias, and um, uh, this euphorbia and the succulent here, the geranium in the middle that's ready to open again. I move it to here because the pot that was here, you guys remember, 
was a dahlia with petunias and everything uh, this changed completely and we will get there so I did this one for fall basically fall Italy uh, winter and then I got this beautiful chrysanthemum that was in full bloom already and it has been doing really well the plants are fading and cutting and they're coming back and they're looking really full I had two variegated leaf um, ivy geraniums I put one in either side that I just having them uh, trailing not sure if this is gonna happen though because the frost probably will stop these plants but probably it would be nice in the spring another nice thing here is this uh, hanging basket stand I bought when I bought some for the greenhouse and I'll make a nice video about the greenhouse later because it's looking really good it's full of new things and as you can see here if you guys remember this area used to be full of pots and now it's so much more cleaner because I was able to put stuff in the greenhouse and I am super happy these hanging baskets here they have some um, this is a viola a beautiful viola however it is in its second year and violas just they are biennials so this one probably we need to go because it's not doing all right anymore and probably won't flower anymore the plant is the um the end of the cycle of its life so i probably will bring some other things some new violas or uh, maybe i'll put cinerarias inside or do something like that I just planted today just to see if it would look good. These ivy geraniums, really nice ones that I had in the greenhouse. And I'm not sure, I don't like how it is looking now. I probably would change that. Um, my fuchsia is here, it's growing all right. I didn't hang it yet. And the hydrangeas in the background are doing so nice. Um, coming back to stuff that I have since last year. It's, this is a white chrysanthemum and it's full of blooms and I think it will be just gorgeous when the time comes. I'll just pass it here a little bit. Another highlight here is my clematis. This one is doing super well. It's loving the position, it's loving the water and it is full of blooms. Some are opening now and some are about to open and but i think it'll be just beautiful this one is super beautiful clematis so i have a daisy here that was just recent probably has a week or something and a few other things that i put in here was these uh parade roses i just wore it now one flower just drop off and then I got them, I saw them in the supermarket and I thought, oh my god, I need to have them. I know um, it's a good addition for me because I have a small courtyard and I have a small backyard that's now crowded of full of stuff. So I thought it would be a nice addition to the courtyard. And this Diane is absolutely gorgeous and has an amazing smell as well. So this is new, the other diantus are uh, actually carnation, this one. It's there. Still, my mini rose is doing so beautifully. So beautifully, I did had it no longer for now. I have a few yellow leaves. We were having some heavy rain and then I thought, I'm not gonna water today, but it was a mistake, I should have watered. So now I have a few yellow leaves, which can be iron, uh, uh, lack of iron or it can be lack of water i'll keep watching but as this plant is well um, fertilized i don't think it is lack of iron so it probably was like a water this pot here is doing so beautifully i love this um agarantums it's just looking beautiful and the more parade roses that I've got in the supermarket, they wet now because the sprinkler system was running here. I need to move them when I am actually watering so they don't get water in the flowers and in, in the stems. Oh, okay, just went one of the flowers here. Uh, anyway, that was a yellow one. Um, this area here is looking horrible now. I have all these, uh, my little violas died my pansies that i grew from seeds are looking super 
bad and this time of the year they look usually better than that but I will make some changes in this area I have bulbs to put in the ground and I'm a bit late about it but I will put it in the ground and it will be nice and it will be beautiful I will be remaking this area um, here my dad is still doing super well today is the 16th of uh, it's 5 of April and my uh, dahlias are still doing super well, like really super well. I'll come from the other side here. So you guys can see this one had problems with snail and slugs. And I didn't put nothing for snail and slugs here because we have pets. And I didn't find nothing that was pet friendly. And just recently I found something really nice that doesn't make any harm to no other thing than, other than slugs and snails. So I started using, and my dahlias are shiny again. These ones never uh, slowed down really, but these one here really did. This one always looked like a bouquet and it was not looking nice. So uh, now it really make a difference coming back. My roses in the background there, they all doing super well. A few uh, blooms, they're just the small shrubs. So I'm okay with that. My big marigold in the end is doing okay as well. All the hydrangeas are fine. Um, uh, some more changes here. Yeah. Uh, this is my Margaret Mario David Austin rose. And this has grown a lot. Like crazy. Look at the size of this plant. I was super small when I bought it initially and it's just growing in a pot. In the very plastic pot. So it's doing super well. I'm actually waiting for some of my dyes to die back in the backyard. So I will probably put uh, this rose in the ground. Uh, and this is something that I love. Let me show you this. Um, I got this obelisk here. And in my in the day before my birthday, when I bought the hydrangeas, I bought this beautiful... Um, Pierre de Ronsa climb rose. This is the red one, and I didn't have that, and I was super crazy about it. And when I look at the shrub, I was full of flowers. It was like, that's the moment. And then I bought it, and then I planted here just this morning with a few uh, nemesias and these uh, older plants that I can't remember the name now. But I will uh, write down in the uh, description of this video. Uh, and it's looking just beautiful. I just love how it turns out. It's just looking super beautiful. Look at that. I'll go from another angle where you can see more the plant. The uh, rose is looking just super beautiful. I, I just love it. Just love it. It's looking beautiful. Um, this pot was the pot with the... Uh, Dahlia and the petunias. The petunias had a bug attack and they died. I had to remove them all. And then the dahlia started having some aphids on it. And I was spraying and putting and spraying putting. And what I end up doing was this dahlia is just in the background there. It's looking very sad at the moment because I had to uh, remove and I disturbed the root balls because I wanted to find out uh, if these rose, if this dahlia had uh, formed tubers or not. And I found out that it hasn't formed any tu tubers, and that's my biggest um, fear with all my beautiful dahlias here is because they uh, dwarf, will they have tubers or not? It's my first year growing dahlias, so I really don't know, and I'm not too worried about that dahlia because I saved from all the dahlias I have I saved tons of seeds and actually I saved that, that herring which I will need to separate the seeds yet they are all only in um, paper bags and I will need to do that but at least I know that I will be able to propagate for the next year Mm, these are here, uh, these impatience, you guys remember, was in the pots, and they are doing really well. I just love that. I put a geranium in this one here. I had a geranium in the middle here, 
however the dog jumps exactly in the middle here so it was breaking all my journal so i had to remove um my other begonia that's doing super well it is doing the wishing well looking super good and i have a new hydrangea here this hydrangea was in the middle of the garden bed here this garden bed is doing beautifully super well finally my um osteosperms are putting lots of growth and i i can see lots of blooms coming and then i pruned some of them pretty hard especially in the back there however i didn't prune these ones that are flowering beautifully in the front because it takes took so long for them to put some uh, growth that now I do still I'm not going to cut back my blooms I would leave them doing their thing and that's it so if you get a bit closer then in the middle it's all pruned down I needed to do a better job with that but in, in the center where we had the hydrangea I planted this um, is a daisy it was a big daisy in the courtyard and it has flower beautifully since in the pot since i bought but i really needed to move it to something bigger and then i thought that's about the time to prune back and then it will come back beautifully to do probably a show in the spring and then i just did it and i just put in there i did it in the dark that's why you can't see you can see that I didn't do very well, a uh, better job of this, but I will we'll fix that very soon. And in the end, uh, I have uh, some additions that I did uh, just recently. The big hydrangea is an endless summer hydrangea and an oak leaf hydrangea that I found in um, one of the markets, the markets close to home here. And it's doing super well there. It's super moist area. I tried to grow some ferns around, it didn't work, so I put hydrangeas because I know they would do great there. So I don't need to prune this one, but that one definitely will do when we are uh, early spring or late, probably late uh, winter, that's the best time to do it. Um, all my... Um, Camellias are doing all right, and I have three hanging baskets here now. Uh, fuchsias, this was a little one that did a lot of uh, flowering, and now it's a bit more quiet. This one is a drama grow that I got, and I just did some troubleshooting this big in this uh, plant because she was putting a lot of uh, flowers, but they were not opening. It was looking like that, and I discovered this plant needed just a little bit more water, and so now they are opening. And I love this plant. Um, coming back here, the other fuchsia. This fuchsia has been flowering. I just that it had this bit since I don't know, probably two or three months, and we had a uh, wind very bad here. And this plant was super bad affected by it. And after that, it started doing not so well. However, it's coming back super well now. Uh, so I'm leaving the expectations of having my camellias flowering. Even the little ones are full of buds. So I think it's gonna be all right. This one, that plant, gives these little sweet flowers that I love making arrangements for inside with it. So it's full of buds. I think it's gonna be beautiful. And this plant, if you leave it, and it grows so big, it's so beautiful that will choke this wall. Last year, choke this wall, and it blooms in the winter, which is much better. So I will have lots of winter interests. The uh, trees are putting lots of. Um, flowers and doing they think it's so beautifully I love the trees and these guys are so beautiful around here seriously and this uh, plum is growing a lot and I've been pruning the top and it's getting bushier because I'm pruning uh, harder to get a compact bush uh, probably we will be moving these to 
another spot. I don't want nothing that will grow too tall around here. We have a few trees that we want to remove to make something nice uh, and put some new trees because they are very old and um, they twisting and it's just very awkward. So we probably will be removing these trees, hopefully this uh, winter. Um, I have a few things, I don't know if you guys can see, but there is a few seedlings planted just in between the, uh, the dahlias, they are uh, foxgloves and um, hollyhocks, this is a big hollyhock that I uh, want, it was small but then now it's super big, and all the way around there, behind this first line of the dahlias here, we have uh, foxgloves and hollyhocks, and that puts the seedlings there, and hopefully they will come and do beautiful in the spring time. Let's see what they do. So, um, one more thing here. These, we put the plant stand on it. And the geraniums, there's a white geranium here. I just did it yesterday. And the pink one, and the, the condor silver foil is doing just beautiful. I just love how that looks now. And I probably will do more things with the condor, uh, the condor silver falls as well. The back of it is still going, still going not greatly. It is super hard to die ahead of these things because they are super tiny flowers here. It is a bit yellow, it's a bit dying around here. I think I might need to um, replace this plant, which is okay. It's just an annual. Did it stink? Now the season is not the season for it. So I just, uh, you just have to uh, change the flowers because this, when they finish, especially annuals, not perennials, perennials are usually don't do nothing, but annuals, if they finish, then I replace them. So just having a quick look here around the area, the other uh, bacoba is doing super well there. It's flowering at the moment. And that's it guys. I might have some 